Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back, it's Jordan here, and I've got a mock for you today, which is pretty cool. What's really awesome about this one is we actually built it during a live stream series on my YouTube channel. And what's neat about this house mock is actually the majority of the parts were found on my pick -a brick wall, and I was put to the challenge by one of my top supporters, which his name is King Piggy. He said, hey, you should build a house and build me a house. So I was like, no problem, we're going to build him a house, and it's going to be present in my LEGO City uh, well, Brickminton 2.0, as soon as we get set up in the new house, this will be in the LEGO City because there's going to be a lot more custom stuff in the new LEGO City, and this is the first thing that we're going to integrate. So, as you can see, I've used a lot of dark bluish gray for the roof. Also, a lot of those masonry bricks. We got a chimney running down the side there. You can see it from the exterior. There is the gauges on the side of the house there. Also, a picket fence that has some uh, poles intervals there just so we get that fence lined up nicely the house itself sits on a 32 by 32 base plate it's got a mailbox out front there also some flowers on either side of the front door this is the front door it's got some lights over top of it you can also see some large four by six windows here and some smaller windows here all of which are framed using some of those light bluish gray masonry bricks so we use brown light bluish gray and also dark bluish gray to create the exterior walls the window frames themselves are white and also we have these circular pillars here on either side of the house i just figured that would look pretty cool and give it just a different feel and i really like the way that that turned out on the back side of the house here we've got some classic lego pieces we got some yellow uh, window shutters there which is pretty cool also this is a house for king piggy so there is his pig right there We've got some trees in the backyard also this has a wood burning fire pit in the inside so i've decided to put some uh, wood and also an axe right there we could probably do a little bit more details on the exterior here but i think it looks pretty good for now also right here we've uh, put some little handrails coming down the um stairs there on the back side and those handrails of course match the stairs on the front side as well so it's got a white door you open up that white door and you go into the inside there let's have a look at the first floor as this thing actually has details on not one not two but three floors as there's an attic as well just like a modular building all the floors will come off also this roof piece will come off as well so we can view inside the attic but let's start right here on the base floor of course we got a staircase that leads up to the second floor right there right here is our kitchen uh, kitchen is quite detailed it's got a stove also a couple burners on top of that stove a sink with a couple blue tiles in there to represent the water uh, you got the countertop there that has a few drawers and also a couple cupboards over top also it has some over uh, over the sink lighting there which is pretty nice and right here is a fridge i actually quite like the fridge design that i did there i don't know if you can see that in black but uh, it's got the freezer on the top there with a handle and also the fridge door has a handle as well right over here just beside the staircase is a garbage can and also a little island there just for a little bit of extra cooking space here in the kitchen right here we have a couch also a glass table with a radioactive man book on the or a comic book right there uh, on that glass um, table also there's a tv mounted to the wall and right here we have a fire pit Ooh, i forgot to put some things looks like there's some things missing right there but we could put some more uh, decoration on the fire pit but it's got a few flames coming out there one other thing that i probably will do is actually bump this out a bit so that the flames are a little bit more guarded so it's inset to the wall here and then comes out and make it come off the wall at least one more stud but i think that fire pit looks pretty good for now then we have a table right here that has a glass and also some letter uh, or a letter and a uh, chair there as well and then of course the back door leading to uh, the backyard that's all capped off there using some light bluish gray tiles and then you can take the staircase up to the second floor, which I'll have a look at now. You make your way up the staircase there. We have a little bit of an area rug there using some of those tan elements. Also, uh, it looks like this guy is like Ron Swanson. He's got some 
pizza on the wall there. It's not an actual pizza, it is a picture of pizza. Because why not? Also a cosplayer, so we have a sword on the wall there, along with a little stand there that has a radio and a hat on the wall as well. Then we have a blip bed here, just a classic built bed using some blue cheese wedge slopes and some blue tiles and some pillows there and also a headboard. Right over here we have a collectible shelf. You got a lightsaber on the top there. Also some Lego sets uh, in that shelf as well, just represented by some cheese wedges. Here's another classic element. This is a classic red frame with the yellow door. Of course, we can open that up and that will be where the washroom is for this place here. A nice spacious tub there. You can either lay down and have a tub or you can also have a shower there. And of course, there is some protective glass there because we don't want the water to overflow and wreck his windowsill. Right beside that uh, tub there, there is a toilet with a push flusher on the top and then a vanity and a sink. Oh yeah, I was remember, I was looking for that piece to complete the sink. You can see I have one of them, and I need two. I only have one. And there's a drawer right, right underneath that sink as well. Ah, there's one missing piece. I'll add that to my parts list to complete this thing. I also noticed there's no uh, faucet for filling that tub, so we'll have to do that. I wanted to add a wardrobe here. As you can see, there's no clothing. I was thinking of adding a wardrobe somewhere in here. I just have to wrap my head around how to add a wardrobe and maybe add some torso pieces into the inside of it to represent different shirts that could be worn by our minifigure. Of course, right here we have the windows of the second floor. There's three on this side here. Once again, framed with those masonry bricks in light bluish gray. And that's the same on this side here. You might be wondering why there's those snot bricks facing inward. It's because I didn't have any one by one light bluish gray bricks or pillars that could fill that void on this side here. So I decided to use the snot bricks because I have a lot of them and found them on the pick-a-brick wall. Once again, most of the pieces found in this building were from the pick-a-brick wall, but those snot pieces actually worked out because then I was able to hang my picture of pizza and also the sword and the hat on the interior of the second floor. Also, there is a way that we can climb and make our way uh, up to the third floor using a ladder, which is the attic. So let's have a look at that. So this is our attic here, and once again, the fire pit, uh, dark bluish gray masonry bricks start at the bottom and make their way up to the chimney, and this will be removed, but I wanna show you how the minifigure uh, will access the attic. It's actually a ladder piece, in which is right there, and that's the hole there. And of course, that ladder piece will move up and down, so the minifigure could very easily stow it away uh, if they wanted some more room in their living quarters on the second floor. Let's pop this off here so we can have a look at the details inside the attic. I figured this would be some nice added detail here. So you can see that the roof is actually sloped using some of those dark bluish gray slopes. There's four bricks tall there and it's capped using some tiles and also some of those one by four modified tiles with the two studs. In the attic here, we've got uh, some things that you would expect to be in an attic. We've got some tools and whatnot right there. So you got a mop, a broom, a shovel, and also a wrench. Then we have a garbage can. And then we have some decorations. It's quite the festive person here. He likes Christmas and Halloween. So we've got a Christmas tree stowed away there. Also a skeleton. Also right here is just a little uh, two-wheeler. So if you have to move some loads, you can bring down that from the attic. Then there's a gargoyle right there and a little chest right here with some uh, with a briefcase inside there. And then Bart Simpson's skateboard. Of course, we could put whatever you want in here. You could put uh, spider webs and rats and and spiders and all sorts of decorations and stuff like that. But we've put some stuff in here. Will we add more in the future? Maybe. You can see I've uh, greveled the floor with some tiles and the studs. And I think it was just a nice touch because otherwise when we put this roof on this house, it would just be a roof that, that would just be hollow. And I figured why not? Um, line the roof or create the roof on a rectangular plate formation so that we can add some more details and then add a ladder going up to it. And I sort of all thought of this on the fly during a live stream and it was really cool to have your guys' suggestions as we built this building. So there we go, we had a look at the full interior details of my newest mock, which is a house.
Yeah, it's actually my first ever mock house that I have built. It stands, it's pretty big, you know, it sits on the 32 by 32 base plate, which is 10 inches by 10 inches. It's about eight inches tall, eight inches wide, and about seven inches deep. Uh, the roof is flush with the sidewalls, which is quite nice. I had a lot of fun building this, and I can't wait to build more mocks with you guys during live streams and populate the Lego city known as Brickmanton with more mocks. That's going to be my challenge going forward as the Lego city right now, it has a few mocks. It's got the police station, uh, the hospital, the Avengers Tower, a train station, another train station, and some custom landscaping and stuff like that. But moving forward into the new home, I really want to put an emphasis on creating mocks and custom stuff because it's just a lot of fun. And we're definitely going to do that. This is my first mock that I've made in quite some time, and I had a lot of fun doing it. Let me know what you guys think by commenting below. Give this video a big thumbs up. Remember to subscribe for some more great stuff coming out in the very near future. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. I wanted to give a special shout out to all the people who supported me using Super Chat and Super Stickers during my live streams. Thank you so much, it's highly appreciated, and make sure you stay tuned for more live streams as I'll be building all of my LEGO sets using the live stream function here on YouTube. Thanks a lot, stay tuned, and we'll see you again. Bye for now!